I was just angry, upset. I didn't know what to do. I just started throwing stuff. I kind of left them standing in the kitchen. I walked in my room and slammed the door. I, I tried. I just didn't want to do it. I didn't, I didn't know how to talk to them. I would yell at them, swear at them. I, I just did. I just did whatever came to mind because I didn't want to be bothered. My grandson, he, he spit in one of my granddaughter's hair and I got really angry because they were fighting. I jumped up and I, I, I remember picking him up by his neck and I was going to throw him down the stairs. <laughs> and I, um, they were screaming and I put him down and I, and I called 211. When we first met Andrea, we knew that we needed to get her help to deal with her anger issues and to gain coping skills to address the pressure that she was under. After a couple of days or weeks went by and they came, they checked on me every day, I started to be okay a little but I was still frustrated and angry. It just was a shock that I had to start all back over. I didn't even know where I was gonna start at. Like, how do you start over with three kids when you raise two and you done? Like, how do you start over? I told Miss Lakeisha and Miss Denise what I wanted to do before the kids came along. I wanted to go get my GED. I wanted to lose weight. I, I just wanted to work and just be healthy and they told me I could, I could still do that. Families first helped me to fix my attitude because my attitude was really bad. I got therapy. I was able to sit down and just talk to them without the swearing and the yelling and the cussing. And now it's much better. I realized I needed my GED if I was gonna help them. I started to spend more time with them. I. I would leave my room door open so if they needed help or needed me, and then I learned to get up and cook for them because I wouldn't do that either. Um, taking them to school, picking them up, asking them how was their day, that it excited me. I want to see them grow. I want them to graduate. I want them to do way better than their mom. Hopefully they'll love me and be happy that I stepped in and did it. It took me a minute, but I did it. I saw her grow stronger. I saw her exercise self-discipline and controlling her anger. I saw her become proud of herself in the way that she was interacting with her grandchildren. She was able to talk to them and to spend time with them and it was a positive environment. The children have progressed emotionally, mentally, physically and academically. They are happy and they're doing so well. Families first. That's the best place. Success stories like Andrea's encourage us in the work that we do. It inspires us. It lets us know that what we're doing is worthwhile and we're actually making a difference in the lives of the relatives that we work with. If they wouldn't have stepped in, I wouldn't have started over. If that agency wasn't there, I don't know where half of these families would be at, including me. Family First is an agency that you would definitely want to look into and let them help you.